Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of June 24th to June 30th, a candidate's night for the two candidates running in the special election to fill the open selectman seat was held by the Democratic Town Committee on Monday. Candidates Kathy Souza and Melissa Terra made opening statements and then answered questions from a media panel in the audience. They touched on topics that included what they thought were the most important issues facing the town, the police chief's job, how to finance the Somerset Middle School project, and economic development. The Candidates Night can be viewed on Somerset Access Television's YouTube channel. The special election will be held on July 12th from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. The Town of Somerset has been awarded $1.8 million in American Rescue Act funds that Town Administrator Richard Brown said will most likely be put into infrastructure improvements that are needed for the water and sewer departments. Brown said the town has already received about half of the money that will be paid to Somerset in two installments. The Somerset Recreation Department's free summer concert series will begin on July 7th at Pierce Beach Park with the band Second to None. Second to None is a high energy group that plays Motown and disco classics, as well as other music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, along with some currents and classic dance hits and swing. The concert is scheduled to begin at 6 p.m. that night at the Recreation Department's new bandstand at Pierce Beach Park. There will also be food for sale that will include barbecue, hot dogs, pastry, and ice cream. The concert series is sponsored by Rockland Trust. The life of the late resident Amber Cowan was celebrated on Sunday at the Pondville Correctional Center in Norfolk, where she worked as a corrections program officer before losing her life last year at what the district attorney's office said was an apparent murder-suicide. The commissioner of the Massachusetts Department of Correction, superintendent of the Correctional Center, Amber's mother and father, Lisa and Brad Cowan, and Amber's best friend spoke at the ceremony that was held at the memorial that is dedicated to Amber and other correctional employees who have passed away. Somerset author Stephen Manchester wrote a poem for Amber that he recited at the ceremony at the memorial. After a one-year absence because of the pandemic, the annual Billington Family Fourth of July Road Race will be held this Sunday starting at Pierce Beach Park. The 3.1 mile course is run mostly along Riverside Avenue. The race is scheduled to start at 8.30 a.m. Those who want to run in the race can register starting at 7 a.m. The entry fee is $35. Everybody who enters gets a t-shirt. An 11 and under baseball team made up of players from the Swansea Independent Baseball League and, and Somerset Baseball League held a car wash this past Saturday to raise money to help the family of teen Alex Rogers, who was diagnosed with leukemia in April. The car wash was held at Mignon Realtors on County Street in Somerset. Alex is in remission from the leukemia and is being treated at Boston Children's Hospital. He has received a lot of support from the community. A tennis program, which will be run by a USTA certified coach, will be held at the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School Tennis Courts starting on July 7th for students in grades 1 through 8 and also for adults who are 18 years old and older. Costs for the youth programs are $70 per player for Somerset residents and $80 per player for non-residents. The adult program is $80 for Somerset residents and $90 for non-residents. Everyone who participates in the program gets a new tennis racket. Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. We will see you next week with news from around Somerset.